Wow, Moodle. This is so confusing. Why do we even use Moodle? I mean, it makes zero sense. I just don't get it. How can we even... Who's in my class? I can't even figure it out. Like, these people? Do they go to this school? Like, Who? Who's, who's <laughs> that person? Never heard of these names. Who's he? He's Let's not in my see. class. Let's go... Let's go to Spanish. You see, I don't even remember if I have a Spanish assignment due tonight. I mean, Moodle Neither. doesn't even tell me that. Moodle never tells me. Uh-oh. I know. No emails. See? What? <laughs> How do I click that? How, well, what are you even on now? What is this? I've never seen this. What? Let's uh. see. Let's find... Wow. I have to scroll a long ways to find any assignments. I know, and you notice how the stuff that we did at the beginning of the year is at the top. Mm -hmm. It's I mean, very confusing. Yeah, it takes forever to have to scroll down to the stuff that we're on now. Oh gosh, my assignment is due in one minute, and I didn't know. <gasps> oh my gosh! What will we well, do? Where even is it? There's just this know. big long list of assignments, and there's nothing there. <sighs> there must be some better way than Moodle. I wonder what it could be. I don't know. Maybe someday we'll figure it out. Maybe. We begin here. Here's the Google Classroom page. First, you see that the organization of classes is already more fluid. I'm going to click on Education 320. And look, this is the first assignment or this is the most recent assignment that my professor has put up and it's the first assignment. I don't have to scroll through anything. The impressive and convenient features that Google Classroom offers to its users. Email notifications. When Dr. Grossman posts an announcement or assignment, it will show up on the screen and notify the students via email. For example, here's an announcement Dr. Grossman posted to the stream. And here's the email that accompanies it. This is what the email Google sends the students look like, and they include a direct link to the post. One good thing about Google Docs is it does save everything automatically, so therefore everything that you change is automatically going to go in there and it didn't save no anything, which saves a lot of time and a lot harder for me. So what we do is we would click on classmates if we wanted to direct message them, and we can see all of the students that are in our class and most of them have pictures, so it's personalized if we don't know their name. So then we can, and their alphabet, but we can click on message and it will take us to our email account. One cool feature of Google Classrooms is the ability to look at upcoming, completed, and previous assignments. On the screen, there's a box allocated for reminding you about your assignments. You can also click on view all to see all assignments. It shows your to-do assignments and your completed assignments. Completed assignments display your grade, and by clicking on them, you can read professor feedback and view your original submission. You can also add more to your assignment or make corrections and resubmit. This feature of Google Classrooms allows students and professors to easily submit, return, and view assignments in one convenient location. It's really helpful by having reminders for your assignments. As you can see, our professor posted the assignment that we have to do for our class. And then the nice thing is, is that if you go to your email, it will also show up, giving you a reminder that you have an assignment that you need to do for that class. Wow, well, Moodle doesn't do any of that cool stuff. I know, I wish it had cool features like Google Classroom. I know, that made it look so easy. It did, it made it look very easy. I bet I would never forget to do another assignment ever again if I had reminders too. like that. Yeah. About how Google Classroom, unlike Moodle or other um, really popular classroom apps, can really take student communication to a whole new level and use it almost as, the, as though it's a social media academic type application. And so this has wonderfully phenomenal impacts on student collaboration and thus on student learning. And you get this instant communication, just as Blair showed, where all your classmates are listed by alphabetical order, you can private message them, you can group message them, and not only is that incredibly handy, a feature that is not involved um, with as much ease as Moodle or another page, this is just right in front of you. 
uh, you also have another aspect where almost as though you're on Facebook or another social media app, you have a stream. And this stream has your postings, as you can see right now that we're looking at. And here is how you can see that real-time communication come into play on the stream. So on the stream here, we have an announcement that the professor has made. And the professor is asking students' opinions about the midterm exam. The professor is asking um, students to articulate their reasons for their different preferences of exams. And so this is something that um, without this rise of technology, students would have to do um, in a written or an oral way in the classroom setting. However, here students can take the opportunity to collaborate online with one another, and this offers a whole wealth of learning that can take place. Hey guys, here, uh, here's a fun lesson plan for an art class. And then all you have to do is post it. And it posts onto the stream and all your classmates can see it, your professor can see it, and they can just go right to the link. And that's why using Google Classroom is super easy. The next thing we're going to do is just show a few basic edits. We're going to start by showing you how to change font, change the um, font size, as well as bolding, italicizing, underlining, alignment of your font, and also bullet points um, in case you're doing a presentation or anything. Now, one thing is all of these tools are in your toolbar. So we're going to start by changing the font for our title. So you're going to start and you're going to highlight your title. And we're going to go up here to the font size, font style, and hit, and we're going to look down to find a, a font that we're very pleased with and we think fits our story. Once we've done that, we're going to um, click on that font, and as you can see, it changed it. We're also going to change the font size while that we've got it highlighted. So you go up here to font size, hit your down arrow again, and just choose your desired font size. Wow, it gives you reminders. Wow, I wish I had one when I needed to turn in my homework. <sighs> that makes it so much easier. Moodle never gives you email reminders when your assignments are due. Why don't we just go ahead and switch over to Google Chrome already? I don't know. Uh, this classroom thing looks pretty cool. It does. <laughs>